Hello and welcome back to Cadenvere. It is the third of Obsidian, the year 126, which makes it late winter for our dwarves. And indeed, spring does appear to be calling our name. The brook has recently thawed and, well, before the year turns, as I'm fairly certain it will in the next episode where I actually record any gameplay at all, given how late in winter it is right now, I thought I'd go ahead and start something that I kind of like the idea of becoming a bit of a tradition. Um, in my Nomoria Let's Play, right at the end I actually started to consider the idea, and, and did do it once, of a yearly upload of the save file. And that's something I actually still like the idea of now. So with this episode, I am going to include, hopefully if I can work out how, a save file of the fort. Uh, it'll probably involve losing your current region. Um, you, I may have to look into it and leave some uh, uh, details and, and a description of how to actually import this into your current world. I'm hoping there's a way that you could just drop this into a folder and then be able to load this region and this particular fort in your your own game and then you could play along if, if you so chose. Now, I'm not going to be actually doing any gameplay in this episode. Um, I think I'm going to take the opportunity, as I briefly hinted at about two episodes ago, to actually learn a little bit more about our dwarves. So I'm not sure how long this episode's going to be. It's going to be a little bit of a year-end special, I guess. Um, so yes, this will be the first of the annual Meet the Dwarves videos. Um, now, I'm not really sure what sort of format these episodes are going to take because it's not going to be a simple case of reviewing only the dwarves that are new since last time I reviewed it because obviously I want to check out how things have changed for them. But uh, I think in this episode, we're actually going to take a close look at each dwarf individually, find out a bit more about them. For example, view creature and then thoughts and preferences, learn a little bit about the dwarves specifically and also check out their relations and uh, perhaps reminisce about their time in the fort so far. So we'll start with Evelyn because she's at the top of the list and I don't see any reason not to start with her. I'm probably not going to try and pronounce their surname. Well, I'll, well, Evelyn Zamadas. Uh, actually, no, at the top, there we go. The tile set messes up with certain words, but we can see Evelyn Ezamdas. Ezamadas. Hmm. Haim Pass. Okay, Evelyn Haim Pass. <laughs> I'm sorry, Evelyn. I, I don't think much of your name. Uh, well, Evelyn's actually quite quite pretty, but uh, hmm. I, I, I was going to say maybe it means something beautiful in, in Dwarvish, but it doesn't. It means Haim Pass. I don't know what a Haim Pass is. Perhaps it is a beautiful thing, but uh, yes. Moving on. She's been happy lately. Slept without a proper room. That's going to be true of them all. Ate a truly decadent dish lately. Oh, well done. She dined in a great dining room. I don't know why you think it's great. She's been annoyed by flies. She was caught in the rain and she's been satisfied at work because the stones don't judge her. She admired a fine door lately. She's a casual worshipper of El Bell and a dubious worshipper of Ast the Sunny Tulip of Gullies. She is a citizen of the Cremated Furnaces. She is a member of the uh, Pleated Craft. She arrived at Cadenvir on the 1st of Granite in the year 126. I probably will skip that little bit because it's, well, maybe I'll briefly go over it for the migrants. She's 81 years old. You're doing very well for an 81 year old. I can only imagine that the dwarves are very long lived and uh, 81 is, I don't know, like the mid 20s for us or mi mid 30s at the latest. She's average in size, her splayed out ears are fuse lobed, her large irised raw umber eyes are very wide set, her hair is clean shaven. Ah, interesting choice for a dwarf. Her ears are very short, her peach skin is slightly wrinkled. She is indefatigable, rarely sick, tough and agile. Evelyn likes obsidian, lead, brown, zircon, walrus tooth horses for their strength and green tree frogmen for their distinct mating call. 
When possessed, she... Oh, well possessed, when possible, she prefers to consume plump helmets and bumblebee mead. Hey, that's awesome. We have, have got bumblebees. Maybe we will have some bumblebee mead in the future and Evelyn will be so happy she'll forget she hates Avac. And she lab. She'll forget she hates anything and she'll actually start having friends. It'll be an awesome time. Uh, poor empathy, little difficulty with words. She's quick to anger, she feels strong urges and seeks short-term rewards. She can't be bothered with frantic, fast-paced living. She is not a risk-taker. She is rarely happy or enthusiastic. She would rather intimidate others than compromise with them. She is immodest. She is not easily moved to pity. She finds rules confining. She needs alcohol to get through the working day. She likes working outdoors and grumbles only mildly at inclement weather. There you are. So that is Evelyn. Let's check out her relationships. We more or less already know. She's still angry with Abak and Sheila. I can only hope that when she's completely drunk on mead, that uh, we will have an opportunity to ease the burden of these grudges. Perhaps turn this bitter enmity into the beginnings of a friendship that will bloom over the next couple of years. I live in hope. Now, next on our list is Rock, the other stonesmith. Let's check you out, Rock. Ah, uh, Reg. Hmm. I'm fairly sure I selected Rock. Oh, okay. Well, apparently, we're just going to go with Reg. Has been quite content lately. In fact, I'm going to skip that topic because uh, that'll change on a whim. So there's really no point in us making note of it. She is married to Kubuk Mashin Nakram. She is the daughter of Monom. Dragon class. That is a stout and awesome dwarvish name. Uh, she is the citizen of the cremated furnaces. Blah blah blah. She is a former member of the cavernous bolts. Ooh, former member. Mm, why did you leave? Were you kicked out? Mm. She is a former member of the heroic lances. Two former members. A former member of the bodice of waxing. Wax bodices, eh? Mm. Is that like the dwarvish version of PVC? She arrived at Canvira on the 26th of Malachite in the year 126. She is 78 years old. She's 10 years, more or less, younger than Evelyn. Born on the 20th of Opal in the year 48. She is weak. Her rust eyes are somewhat narrowed. She has very long hair and it's tied in a ponytail. Her eyebrows are low. Her brown skin is slightly wrinkled. Her hair is burnt sienna. Oh, fair enough. Quite durable. A bit clumsy and weak, though. You like petrified wood, lead, tiger eye, giant... Axolotl leather. I don't know how that word is pronounced. Gigantic tortoise shells. I like those too. I like gigantic tortoises actually. The colour dark brown. Circles, bucklers, and parakeet men for their color <laughs> coloration. Okay. Oh yes, that makes perfect sense. When possible, she prefers to consume mog hopper and sunshine. She consumes sunshine. Rock, or shall we call you Kal-El? This is very interesting. I should put you in the military right now. She absolutely detests lizards. She has an amazing memory, great analytical abilities, and a very good sense of empathy. But she has shortage of patience, meager creative creativity, bad intuition, and little natural inclination towards music. She's very active. She isn't. Uh, she isn't given to flights of fancy. She appreciates art and natural beauty. She dislikes intellectual discussions. <laughs> okay. She finds helping others rewarding. She has very little self-discipline. She needs alcohol to get through the working day, and she does not mind being outdoors. At least for a time. Ooh, you're starting to get cave adapted. That may end up being quite bad. Check you out. You are married to Edna. And for the most part, we've seen all this. Your older brother is Vasty. You've got an awful lot of aunts and uncles, and an equally enormous amount of niece, nephews, and cousins, one of which is Taxa, one of which is Ainsido. Any others? One of which is Volta. Wow. And the rest of passing acquaintances. You don't have any grudges, which is a good thing. Marisapia, let's check you out. Uh, faithful worshipper of Arist size. <laughs> Size clobbers and a faithful worshipper of the Ast, the sunny tulip of gullies. Well done. 87 years old. Pretty close to Evelyn there. Incredibly skinny. Her somewhat narrow 
heliotrope eyes are sunken, her straight hair is dry, her very long hair is arranged in double braids, her dark tan skin is wrinkled, her nose is slightly hooked, her ears are somewhat short, her head is somewhat short, her hair is burnt sienna with flecks of grey. Oh dear me. Don't worry. I, I am sure no one has noticed. I am positive that they're all too busy listening to Evelyn spread rumours about the fullness or lack thereof of Avic's beard. But you like native silver bullion uh, chrysoprase? I am assuming that's some sort of gem. The colour sapia, gems, crossbows, shields and coins. You like coins, eh? I'm sure you do. When possible, she prefers to consume black crested gibbon. Steelhead trout and sunshine. Another one who eats the sun. What is it with you? She absolutely detests hamsters. That is a very odd thing to detest, but fair enough. She's great kinesthetic sense and creativity and a way with words. Not very good with analytical abilities, though. She is very assertive. She loves good thrills. She appreciates art and natural beauty. She likes to try new things. She's open-minded to new ideas. She is candid and sincere in dealings with others. Oh, that's quite nice. She's confident. She tries to live a well-organized life. She chews her lips when she's nervous. That's actually extremely endearing. She needs alcohol to get through the working day, as does every dwarf. Um, two deities. You've got a friend in finance staples, Sheila, Plump, Evelyn, Revocane. Oh, man. You, uh, you got a grudge with text, huh? But, man, Alex, a long-term acquaintance, really... You're friends with everyone else who started out, but have singled me out. I, this sucks. Okay. Well, it doesn't suck as much for Te as it does with Tex, because you actually dislike him, which is remarkably hard, given your personality. I don't know what he must have done to offend you. Incido has been quite content. I'm sure he has. She is, or she has it. Married to Volfa. She is the daughter of someone... I, well, uh, as is everyone who is a female. She's a worshipper of Kikros, the glove of controllers, and a dubious worshipper of Aros. She is 73 years old, so 10 years again younger than all the others. I wonder if that's going to be common with the migrants, that they were all 10 years younger. Maybe that's why they didn't come with us. They were just too young. She's incredibly quick to heal, but she's clumsy and weak to tire. Um, she has a broad body with almost no fat on it, well done you. Her hair is clean-shaven, her ears have large hanging lobes, her slightly protruding jade eyes are slightly close-set. Her somewhat short nose is slightly upturned, there's lots of slightlies here. Her copper skin is slightly wrinkled. There we are. Incido likes tin glaze, trifle pewter, blue diamond, hoary marmot leather, the colour pearl, male shirt and grates. When possible, she prefers to consume giant leopard gecko. Wow. Water buffalo cheese, strawberry wine, horse's milk, dwarven wheat flour, and blade weed seeds. She absolutely detests lizards. Another one who doesn't like lizards. You occasionally overindulge. You love a good thrill. She is open-minded to new ideas, which is also a plus. You're trusting, guarded in relationships with others. How does that work? Trusting and guarded in relationships. Hmm. Does not go out out of your way to help others. Uh, you stiffen up when you're surprised, and when nervous, you tend to stretch your body. You need alcohol. There we go. What about your relationships? Other than your husband, Volta, are you married or have any relationship with anyone else? We've got a couple of siblings, none of them here. An, uh, an aunt was here, Sam Scale. Oh, very interesting. My lord, I really, I'm going to have to like draw out some sort of list of the actual clans that are now represented in Cadenvere. It's going to be quite interesting, though there's quite a lot to look through. You've got Texa, Vestry, and Rock are your cousins. And everyone else. You don't really have any friends or grudges, which is a very good thing. Now, on to Millionfowl. Let's check you out. Alright, you're married to Utter Womankind. I'm sure that name will will actually see the nickname when I check your relations. Um, you were a former member of the Bodice of Waxing. Oh dear, perhaps you were kicked out. Along with the other person. Hmm, I'm going to have to keep an eye on you. And a former member of the Fountain of Blockading. Former member of the Castle of Columns. Hmm, a lot of former members. I, I hope these former 
fortresses that you just left willingly and not because they burnt down in suspicious circumstances. You're very skinny, your hair is dry, medium length sideburns are neatly combed, your very long moustache is arranged in double braids, medium length beard is neatly combed, very long hair is neatly combed, you're very very neat it seems. It's a very clear voice, your head is somewhat short, that's unfortunate. His slightly sunken aquamarine eyes are very wide set, his nose is upturned, his somewhat short ears are somewhat narrow, somewhat. His hair is burnt sienna mixed with grey. Again, I'm sure no one notices. Skin is burnt umber. Fair enough. You like porcelain, steel, bone opal, brown recluse spider silk. Aha! You and Avak have that in common. The colour ivory, gems, just gems. Gauntlets and weapon racks. When possible, you prefer to consume a lion and get a cruer. He absolutely detests toads. Ah, oh, that's a shame. He has great analytical abilities and a great feel for the surrounding space and a natural inclination towards language. You don't often experience strong cravings or urges. You can handle stress, dislike intellectual conversations and find helping others rewarding. That's very, very nice of you. You don't like to compromise with others though. Nah, that's a little bit bad. He finds immodesty distasteful. Yes, well done. It's not dapper at all. He lacks confidence. He cackles when he's nervous. Again, that's another endearing quality, I think. He needs alcohol to get through the working day. There we are. So that's Million Fowl. Now on to Samscale, who's currently hunting. Let's check you out, Samscale. Married to... Oh, wait. I forgot I didn't check out Million Fowl's relationships. Let's check that. Right, Para is your wife. And you're a, an acquaintance with Taxfer, Ravicane, Metasapia, and PH Dwarf. Oh, that's alright. You could do with a little bit of uh, work on that, though. You need to get a few more relationships going. You know, you're not going to be invited to parties otherwise. Citizen of Cremated Firmuses, member of the Pleated, Pleated Craft, former member of the Scorching Gem, former member of the Spear of Lances. Alright. I'm going to have to keep an eye on all of these different names to see if we've got a couple of people who came from the same fort, because that could explain long-term relationships that they arrived with. You are incredibly skinny. Your eyes are jade. Hair is clean-shaven. You have a low voice. Your ears are splayed out, and slightly, your slightly upturned nose is extremely narrow. Your skin is copper. Not made of copper, just copper. Though made of copper would be awesome. Um... You like ash glaze, zinc, morion, pigtail fibre, fabric, gems, low boots, statues, bracelets, bu uh, buckets, you like buckets, okay, and mules for their stubbornness. When possible, you prefer to consume goose, dwarven rum, and dwarven wheat flour. You absolutely detest leeches. I know very few people who don't. She's often nervous, quick to anger, occasionally overindulges. She's somewhat reserved, is unassertive is often cheerful, has a fertile imagination, does not have a great aesthetic sensitivity, you are highly adventurous and love fresh experiences, dislike intellectual discussions, doesn't like to compromise with others, and is self-disciplined. You inhale sharply when you're angry. I know lots of people who do that. And need alcohol to get through the working day. So there we go. Oh, let's go back and check your relationships. So, Spartan, your, your husband, and uh, you have any anyone else? Incidos, a niece? Uh, oh my lord, lots of nephews. Again, another one whose Christmas must just be hellish. Now, let's go on to Vulfa. And this episode may stretch out a little bit. If, you know, that's why I wanted to do all of this in one episode. Because if you're not particularly interested or you only want to watch one particular person, i.e. you, you can just skip to that part and leave the rest. But uh, let's jump into Vulfa. Let's see what your mind has to offer us. Married to Encido, the son of someone. Let's see. You are scrawny. Your eyes are jade. You have sideburns, which are clean shaven. Oh, okay. No, your sideburns are clean shaven. I wonder if that just means really short and neat or just not there. You've got a long mustache and it's arranged in a double braid. You're very long beard is braided, your hair is clean shaven, your nose bridge is somewhat concave. That's interesting. Skin is dark peach and your nose is somewhat short. You like olivine, pig iron, carnelian, moon snail leather, moon snail leather? Wow. Great barracuda tooth, 
War hammers and scepters. When possible, you prefer to consume Nautilus mead and cave wheat seeds. That is Nautilus mead and cave wheat seeds, not Nautilus mead. So that would be awesome. You absolutely detest mosquitoes. Again, I don't know many people who don't. You're somewhat reserved. You have a good awareness of your own emotions and you're put off by authority and tradition. Oh dear. You take time when making decisions. That's actually quite good. You scratch your ear when you're thinking and need alcohol to get through the working day. You do, don't mind being outdoors, at least for a time. Okay, another person whose pants becoming cave adapted. For those who don't understand, cave adaption is where a dwarf has spent a lot of time indoors without going out in the sun. And what will happen as a result of that is that when they go out in the sun, they, they become quite photophobic, but like on a massive scale. They don't just get horrible headaches and don't get sunburned. They start vomiting uncontrollably. It's a horrible thing to happen. You are married to Encido, and let's see if there's anyone else. I'm sure there are going to be lots of people who are. Yeah, there we are. Vesti is a cousin. Oh, and you got a pet. That's right. You've got a bunny. Oh, that's, that's sweet. Even though you haven't got any friends, your bunny keeps you company. And your wife. I assume. I mean, maybe not. Maybe it's a loveless marriage, which would explain the lack of children. Okay, let's check out Plump Helmet. You're a worshipper of the sunny tulip of gullies, as quite a lot of the uh, original crew were, and a casual worshipper of Sim, I, who I believe is, takes the form of a male bumblebee drone, which was awesome. You're weak. Oh, that's... That's a shame. You're only 65 years old. You're like a young pup. Your eyes are jade. Your sideburns are clean shaven. Your long moustache is neatly combed. Your very long beard is arranged in double braids. Your very long hair is arranged in double braids. You've got a lot of braids going on there. You have a very low cheekbone, uh, or rather your cheekbones are very low. Your nose is slightly hooked and your ears are slightly flattened and slight, somewhat short. And your skin is burnt umber. Let's have a look. You like Gab Gabro? Gabro? Gabo? Hmm, I'm not sure how that's pronounced or what it is. Gold jelly opal loon leather. Hmm, I'm not sure that's right either. The colour cerulean gloves, slabs, and llamas for their wool. When possible, you prefer to consume gut gutta cruo and whip vine flour. You absolutely detest moon snails. Right, so keep you away from moon snails, but we are going to have to get them at some point so we can make moon snail leather clothing for someone. You're quick to anger. Oh, that may explain why you don't have that many relations. You're self-conscious. You can handle stress. You're not assertive. You are relaxed. You're really happy or enthusiastic, but then, you know, you don't need that to survive. He does not go out of his way to help others, which is a shame. He is organized, though. Uh, he needs alcohol to get through the working day, and he likes working outdoors and grumbles only mildly at inclement weather. So you actually like being out there. Well done. I don't think you're... Uh... Oh, no, it has changed. You've got a bunch of new friends. Well done. Flying Staples, Sheila, Revocane, Metisapia. <sighs> but you haven't got time for me or Evelyn. Probably because of that little feud that's going on. You're like, look, look my life's already complicated enough. Just keep it away. I can respect that, even if I don't like it. Beard Dwarf, let's check you out. You are a citizen of the Cremated Furnaces, uh, a member of the Pleated Craft. You don't actually worship anyone, I noticed. That's interesting. A former member of the Cavernous Bolts, and a former member of the Boot of Thinning. Hmm, thin boots. I can't imagine that's very comfortable. You're incredibly skinny, your hair is clean shaven, your nose is slightly hooked, your amethyst eyes are slightly wide set, and your skin is copper. Once again, I am assuming that it is coppery in, in appearance and not actually made of copper. You like ilmenite, steel, fire agate, walrus leather, the color lemon, enormous corkscrews, and leopard seals for their fierce nature. Well done. When possible, she prefers to consume tick. White spotted puffer and dwarven wine. You prefer to consume ticks? That's that's horrible. She absolutely detests brown recluse spiders. Another one who's got something in common with Avak. She has a calm demeanor. She almost never feels discouraged. She prefers that others handle the leadership roles. That's good. Avak uh, likes you a lot, I think. You're not a threat. Though it would be ironic if people voted you into expedition leader instead of it because he'd probably have a grudge and uh, it would go badly and you wouldn't even want the role it would be a tragedy 
She a comic tragedy. She is not easily moved to pity. She is self-disciplined. She Oh, she licks her lips when she's nervous, okay. She tenses up when she's nervous. She needs alcohol to get through the working day. She does not mind being outdoors, at least for a time. Let's check your relationships. Oh, you're not married to anyone. Uh, that's a shame. It's probably because you're not very religious, whereas everyone else is. You are a cousin to blood alchemy, though. Anyone else? Do you have any friends yet? I'm hoping you do. No, just passing acquaintances. Never mind. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Now, Spartan, let's check you out. Married to uh, Rimtar, and you're son of people. He is a citizen of the Cremated Furnaces. He's a member of the Pleated Craft. He is a former member of the Spear of Lances. Mm, I've seen that name a few times now. You're 67 years old. You're corpulent. Oh dear. Very short sideburns are neatly combed. Your very long moustache is neatly combed. Your very long beard is braided. Your hair is clean shaven and your recessed chin. You have a recessed chin. Your teeth are widely spaced. Your ears are very short and slightly close set. The cobalt eyes are somewhat narrow. His nose is slightly upturned and his skin is burned umber. You like uh, sylvite, platinum, bone opal, oyster shell, pigtail fibre fabric, gems, earrings, anvils, turkeys for their wattle, and giant crows for their intelligence. Oh, that's pretty cool. Though I hope we don't see any giant crows. Unless, by giant, they just mean larger than normal and not, you know, giant. When possible, he prefers to consume giant python and tuba. What is it with you and giant things? Tuba beer. He absolutely detests bark scorpions. You're often nervous. You are comfortable in social situations. That makes no sense. You don't handle stress well. That does make sense if you're often nervous. You're somewhat reserved. You're very assertive. That doesn't make sense with any of the other things. You are a man of contradictions, my friend. He is often cheerful. He is slow to trust others. He dislikes contracts and regulations. He inhales sharply when he is angry. And he needs alcohol to get through the working day. You're married to Sam Scale. Let's see. Have you got any other people here? No? no? Well, you've got two friends. You've got Para and Texra. That's awesome. Well done. So, on to Vesti. You are a former member of the Cavernous Bolts and a former member of the Heroic Lances. Interesting. 79 years old. You're incredibly skinny. Very long sideburns are neatly combed. Your very long moustache is neatly combed. Very long beard is braided. Your hair is clean shaven. You have a broad chin. Very slightly close set copper eyes are narrow. Your small lobed ears are extremely narrow. Your lips are slightly thick. Your nose bridge is somewhat concave. Your pink skin is slightly wrinkled. You like mudstone gold, faint yellow diamond and longland grass for their sweeping stalks. I thought that said weeping stalks, eh? When possible, you prefer to consume giant black mamba, muck roots and swamp whiskey. You absolutely detest brown recluse spiders. Welcome to the club. You will do well in this fort. You're relaxed. You're unassertive. Have a good awareness of your own emotions. You're open-minded to new ideas. You're candid and sincere in dealings with others. You are Im immodest. Ah, uh, that's a shame. You need alcohol to get through the working day. Uh, other than the immodesty, I was going to say you sound like a charming and very awesome person. I'm sure you are still charming, just not very humble. You are married to Dodok Vodafel. Have I not named someone? Mm, I may need to check that out. You... Your younger sister is Rock. Anyone else that you are related to? Cousin is Taxa, who's like the cousin to everyone. And Incido. And Volfa. And that's about it. Okay, down to Para. I'm quickly scanning this up for Dodok. Who is Dodok? I don't think Dodok is here. My lord. You actually left your partner to be here. That humbling, really. It's... Wow, you must really care about this fort. That's awesome. Let's see. Former member of the Bodice of Waxing and the Castle of Columns and the Avalanche of Love. Wow. I wonder what that fort was like. You've got... You're broad yet weak. Extremely... Your extremely dense hair is dry. You have very long hair and it's neatly combed. Your eyebrows are extremely low. Your ears are are flattened and your bronze eyes have large irises your nose bridge is somewhat concave and your hair is straight your nose is somewhat narrow your head is somewhat short 
okay? Uh, short hats, I, I don't even. Your hair is burnt sienna with mixed flecks of gray and your skin is cinnamon. You like uh, marcasite, gold, yellow diamond, two-legged rhino lizard horn. Wow. Amber, rope, uh, rope breed fad, uh, fiber fabric. The color brass, spears, bucklers, amulets, and clear monster clear monsters for their horrifying fe what you like clear monsters for their horrifying features you are a strange puppy when possible you prefer to consume mink and tuba beer you absolutely detest leeches i don't see why you apparently like clear monsters for their horrifying features you have a calm demeanor you're slow to anger you're relaxed you love a good thrill you are really happy or enthusiastic that is a shame you're immodest, you lack confidence. Well, I'm surprised you're immodest if you lack confidence. You blow your breath out when you're annoyed. You need alcohol to get through the day and you like working outdoors. Uh, well, it's quite cool that you like working outdoors. You've got two friends, Sparta and Texas, and you're married to Millionfell. Ah, oh, man. Seeing those three names together brings back good memories. Uh... Right, on to Sheila. Let's find out about you. You're a casual worshipper of Tobble and an ardent worshipper of Ask the Sunny Tulip of Gullies. I am really surprised that so few of our dwarves actually worship deities. I thought it was fairly common and quite uncommon to have someone who, who didn't worship any deities. That's very interesting. I would say more people in our fort don't have any particular religious affiliation than do, which is interesting. You're 76 years old. And you are corpulent. Oh dear. You've got a very high-pitched voice. Your hair is clean-shaven. Your eyes are somewhat short. Your oh, your ears are somewhat short. I was like, short eyes? Oh, come on now. Short heads were bad enough. But no, your ears are somewhat short. And that makes sense. Your nose bridge is somewhat concave. Your slightly wide-set amethyst eyes are slightly sunken. Slightly. Somewhat. And your skin is pale brown. You like mica, silver, jelly opal, coral, chipmunk bone, the colour olive, maces and giant desert scorpions for their tails. When possible, you prefer to consume white spotted puffer and whip vine. You absolutely detest fire snakes. That sounds like a remarkably wise decision. You're relaxed, you are, you're often cheerful, love to defy convention. Oh no, a bit of a rebel. You're very straightforward with others. You would rather intimidate others than compromise with them. I can see why you and Evelyn are locking horns. You are compassionate. You need alcohol to get through the working day and you like working outdoors. Let's check your relationships. You've still got a grudge with Evelyn, but you're friends with Matt Sapia, Revkane and Plump Helmet. And uh, your two deities are there, but uh, Flying Staplers and Avak, still only, only long term acquaintances. That, that's a shame. I'm sure that we'll get the, the initial seven together eventually and maybe even work out some of these grudges. Maybe we could just, I don't, I don't know, maybe Ava could start spreading rumours and, you know, kind of deflect some of those grudges towards the newer members of the fort. You know, maybe, maybe we could... Oh, no, that sounds like a terrible idea. That sounds like it would just end in the tantrum spiral. He'll just have to take it on the chin. Okay, so let's see. You're married to... This is Blood Alchemy, isn't it? Yes, it is. I wonder why it wasn't saying your name at the top. Oh well. You're married to someone and you have two children. Datan something something and Stukos. Short Sanctums. Arden Tropes. So Datan Arden Tropes and Stukos Short Sanctums. Interesting names. You're the daughter of Lockham Lance Closed and Kib Alimo. Ale Armors. Okay. LA Armors. Uh, interesting names. Very, very, very bizarre. You're a citizen of Cremated Furnaces and a member of the Pleated Craft. You're a former member of the Cavernous Bolts. You're a former member of the Portinous Constructs. Ah, interesting. I haven't seen that one before. You're 81 years old, so you are in the older uh, ages of the fort so far. You're very skinny. Your hair is incredibly straight. Your very long hair is neatly combed, which is makes sense if it's straight. Your nose is narrow. Your eyebrows are slightly low. Your hair is burnt sienna with a touch of grey. Again, don't worry. I'm sure no one's noticed. Your skin is brown. Your eyes are copper and your ears are freeloaded. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to have to make helmets for a lot of people so they can hide their grey hair. Mm, I may need to uh, factor that into my planning. 
you like chromite sterling silver that's quite cool i like sterling silver myself black diamond black cap wood hoary marmot leather the color green yellow and cats for their aloofness when possible you prefer to consume hoary marmot and dwarven wine you absolutely detest purring maggots okay <laughs> to be fair if a maggot started purring at me i'd be a little bit freaked out as well you can handle stress, you appreciate art and natural beauty, you regard intellectual exercises as a waste of energy, you are guarded in your relationship with others, and do not go out of your way to help others. You strive for excellence and are self-disciplined, that makes a lot of sense, and you need alcohol to get through the working day. Let's check out your relationships. You've got a husband in Texfer, and uh, I can only imagine that you left your youngest daughter and eldest daughter behind, that's... Uh Hopefully you left them with your parents. Or maybe they're just old enough to make their own way. Maybe they're in another fort. PH Dwarf is your cousin. Let's see. Probably going to give you good deals on uh, finely crafted shale rings. Vulfa is your cousin as well. And passing acquaintances with pretty much everyone in the fort. Wow. That's pretty cool. Okay. On to Texfer then. Finally. You're married to Ushat Stack Morale and have two children. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, let me just check that out. Really? Yeah, <laughs> that's fair enough. So, your rela your family, uh, they're more or less going to be the same. Well, they are going to be the same, pretty much, except for your parents. You're a member of the Pleated Craft. You're a former member of the Cavernous Bolt. Former member of the Potentious Constructs. Actually, is that the same as Blood Alchemy? Did you move here together? Uh, cavernous Bolts and poten uh, Potentious Constructs. Wow, that's pretty cool. Moving around. Maybe that's where your children are. Maybe your children are in the Potentious Constructs. That's uh, a little bit sad, really. You should have brought them with you. But you're short. You've got long sideburns and they're neatly combed. You've got very long moustache. It is neatly combed. Your very long beard is arranged in double braids. Your very long hair is neatly combed. Your ears have small lobes. Your head is somewhat broad. Not short, but broad. Your hair is burnt sienna with a touch of grey, and your skin is dark brown. Your eyes are also amethyst. You like a dacite or dacite? Rose gold, clear diamond, alpaca wool, backpacks because backpacks statues catapult parts catapult parts you don't actually like the catapults you'd like the parts that makes sense and eye eyes i oh hmm. eye eyes that that sounds amazing i want to see an eye eye i must know what an eye eye is for their interesting fingers well apparently eye eyes have interesting fingers i still want to know what else they have when possible, he prefers to consume soul and dwarven deer. You absolutely detest snails. You're quick to anger, you can handle stress, you tend not to openly express emotions, you are restrained, uh, resistant to change, sorry, you admire tradition, you lack confidence, you're very disorganized, you have a menacing stare when you're angry, that's uh, pretty cool, you may... <laughs> uh, Good that you're in the military, actually, but maybe you'll have a role as our hammerer in the future. And you need alcohol to get through the working day. Now, your wife is blood alchemy, but uh, let's see, who else? Incido is a cousin of yours, so is Vasti and Rock. You got any other friends yet? Have you had time to make friends? Yes, you have. Par and Sparta. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't like me or Metasapia. You have made a powerful enemy this day. You fool! Right, on to flying staplers, and we are very near at the end. 40 minutes in, this might be a 45 minute episode. I do apologise, but like I said, I could have skipped it if you wanted to. If you're this far in, I assume it's because you want to be here, so I guess I shouldn't really worry about apologising to you. You're probably enjoying yourself. You're a faithful worshipper of Datan, the Emerald of Oiling, and a casual worshipper of Arnis, the Paint of Amethyst. Ah yes, you like gems and rainbows. Ah, that was quite funny. 88 years old, though. Uh, actually, you're probably one of the oldest. Has broad body made broader still by no shortage of surrounding lo- Oh my lord. One does not say that about flying staplers. I feel she can murder you with her eyes. Her eyes are raw umber, that's what she murders you with. Her hair is clean shaven, her nose is upturned. I can't believe you said- Ah, oh, lard, really. Her slightly flattened, narrow ears are very short. Her teeth are gaped. 
<laughs> Sapia skin is wrinkled. I, Flying Staplers, I, I hope you understand it's the game doing this, not me. I, I, I tried to stop it. I warned it of the consequences, but uh, just wouldn't listen. Flying Staplers likes Native Silver, Billion, uh, Crystal Barrel. Mm, I'm not sure what that is. Dapper J might be able to tell me about that. Candle Nutwood, Clear Glass, White Stork Leather, Giant Osprey Bone, and Cave Spiders for their mystery. When possible, you prefer to consume lion, char, and meat, and absolutely detest hamsters. Another one who doesn't like hamsters. You often feel discouraged. You make friends quickly. Actually, the discouraged bit is, is quite alike to you, actually, in real life. And probably the making friends quickly as well. It's like the game knows you, except for the description. Um, you're not interested in art. You tend not to openly express emotions. That is a complete lie. You admire tradition slow to trust others she is candid and sincere in her dealings with others she doesn't like to compromise with others she tries to live a well-organized life she laughs loudly when she's excited she needs alcohol to get through the working day and likes working outdoors well done for you that's actually really good for you considering you have to work outdoors you've got a friend in plump revocane metisapia and me ha ah, someone who actually likes me yay I'm not alone, friendless, in my room, counting things. Edna is next. Let's see. You are married to Reg Tool Seal. You are a former member of the Bodice of Waxing and a former member of the Avalanche of Love. Mm, okay, is that where you met Reg? You're 86 years old. Very, your very long sideburns are neatly combed. Your very long moustache is neatly combed. Your very long beard is neatly combed. Your hair is clean. Oh, clean shirt. You broke the ah, combo breaker there. Damn. You have a broad body. Your deeply sunken emerald eyes are slit. Your teeth are widely spaced. You have a high-pitched voice and your eyes have large irises. Your dark brown skin is slightly wrinkled. You like cryolite lay pewter milk opal phantom spider silk the color lime shield amulets reindeer for their large herds and crows for their intelligence when possible you prefer to consume gray squirrel cuttlefish and fisherberry wine you absolutely detest the moon snails poor old moon snails they actually sound really really remarkably awesome you're comfortable in social situations you're relaxed you are guarded in relationships with others your views you, you view helping others as an imposition on your time. Oh man, I thought you were going to say important, but no. Seems that Cat and Rear is full of selfish gits. You're willing to compromise with others. Oh, okay. A little bit contradictory. You are disorganized. You constantly strive for perfection. Oh, come on. You're disorganized and yet strive for perfection? Really? You're occasionally given to procrastination. You run your fingers through your hair when you're thinking. And you need alcohol to get through the working day. Let's check out your relationships. You are married to Rock, and everyone else is a passing acquaintance, and you have no other relatives. You literally sprouted out of the ground like a mushroom. Now, on to Revocane. Let's check you out. So, you're a worshipper of Kickross, the glove of controllers, and a worshipper of Kickross, the glove of. Uh, hmm. Ardent worshipper, and a worshipper. How does that work, Revocane? Do you go to church twice? I don't, mm, very, very curious. You're 55, though. Wow, you're young. No wonder you're a bad doctor and everyone's afraid of you. You've barely come out of doctor school. But you're broad yet weak. Your eyes are heliotrope. You've got quite dense hair and it's dry. Your very short sideburns are neatly combed. Your very long moustache is arranged in double braids. Your very long beard is arranged in double braids. Your very short hair is arranged... No, it's not arranged in double braids. Combo breaker once again. It's neatly combed, though. Your ears are somewhat narrow. Your s somewhat short head is somewhat narrow. Is your hair somewhat burnt sienna? No, it's not. It is burnt sienna. And your skin is dark peach. You like ilmenite, aluminium, chrysoprase, chrysoprase, I think that's how you pronounce it, giant brown recluse spider silk, maces, greaves, flasks, donkeys for their stubbornness, and valley herds for their tiny leaves. Valley herbs, rather. When possible, he prefers to consume banded knife fish, that sounds remarkably dangerous, mog hopper mead, and whip vine flower. That is mog hoppers, mead, and whip vine flower. You absolutely detest blood gnats. I can't think why with a name like that. You occasionally overindulge. You are assertive. You're very active. You do not trust others and often do the first thing that comes to mind. Like, I don't know, 
stuffing a pigeon into someone's chest cavity before sewing them up. When there's a pause in the conversation, you often start talking to yourself. Because that doesn't freak out the people you're, you're treating at all. They find it endearing, I assure you. You need alcohol to get through the working day and you like working outdoors, which is a shame because you're going to spend an awful lot of time indoors treating people. Because you tr treated them earlier and they'd come back worse off. Your friend Flying Staplers, Shelab, Plump Helmet and Metisapia. A long-term acquaintance to Evelyn and myself. Again, you're probably sick and tired of the of the feuding and you just you just want to be left alone to shove things that really shouldn't be there into people when they're not looking because you knock them out. And finally, to myself. Uh, I'm not particularly liking where this is going, but uh, I'm a worshipper of Egel and a casual worshipper of the sunny tulip of gullies. Um, oh, did I actually? Oh, right. I, th I thought, uh, with all that extra blue text, I'm, I was a former member of Summit. But no, I'm a manager of the Pleated Craft, and I'm the broker of the Pleated Craft, and the bookkeeper of the Pleated Craft, and I arrived on the first of granite. Yay. 88. So again, one of the older people here. My hair is dry. Very My very long sideburns are braided. Very long mustache is arranged in double braids. And very long beard is neatly combed. You see Evelyn neatly combed. Uh, your rumours. They are besmirking my good name and the good name of my beard. My long hair is braided. And I have a broad body. I have very low cheekbones. Uh, my peach skin is wrinkled and my ears are somewhat short. Uh, hair is straight. Hair is somewhat... Oh, uh, no. It's burnt, Sienna, with flecks of grey. Damn it, I'm going to have to get another helmet for me as well. What is this? And my eyes are amethyst. I like rock salt, bismuth bronze, clear tourmaline, clear glass, giant nautilus teeth, brown recluse spider silk, gems, leggings, crows for their intelligence, and cave wheat for their stalks. When possible, I prefer to consume koala cave fish and longland beer i absolutely detest brown recluse spiders because i'm a fool an absolute fool they are delightful creatures i'm confident under pressure enjoy company of others i'm not given to flights of fancy i like to try new things i am easily moved to pity which is unfortunate i have a sense of duty need alcohol to get through the working day and like working outdoors the reason why it's unfortunate that I'm easily moved to pity is because that's why I traded away all of that profit to the trader. He just gave me a sob story about his little dwarflings back at home who were going hungry. And I just gave him all of the fortress's wealth. I'm a menace. That's probably why Evelyn hates me. No, we already know why Evelyn hates me, but uh, probably why everyone else is going to hate me soon enough. My only friend in the fort is flying staplers. I've got twice as many enemies as I've got friends. I... I... Hadn't really thought of it like that before. I'm rather sad. I think I may go and throw myself in the brook. But that is it. That is it for all of our dwarves. We now know what they like, what they don't like, what they look like. Though in some cases that is actually a bad thing. And we even know what they think about people most of the time. Some of them, well... We passing acquaintances could go either way, really. It could be good, it could be bad. But on the whole, we know if they've got enemies or friends and who they're related to and who they've got, you know, daughters and sons with and where they left them. Or, well, we suspect we know where they left them. But suffice it to say, we now actually know who's living in our fort, which is quite cool because, uh, you know, might not have to sleep with our eyes open quite as much. I mean, Avax still does, but uh, the rest of you can be a little bit... Uh, more confident that you're not going to be murdered in your sleep. There aren't too many people who came from previous forts that burnt down suspiciously. But with that, I'm actually going to leave you with something a little bit different. Be right back. And hello! Look at this! It's like Dwarf Fortress actually has graphics. Almost. This is Stone Sense. Stone Sense is a visualizer for Dwarf Fortress. You can't play it through it, so don't get your hopes up. Um, basically, this program is currently reading the data in Dwarf Fortress. It kind of updates every tenth of a second. Um, so you can actually have this like on one screen while you're playing with the regular Dwarf Fortress on another and kind of look to this to see what's happening. But um, 
I don't actually use it for that. I don't use it very much at all, but I thought some of you might actually like to see our fort as it looks if it were a isometric -y game e thing. But yes, so this is it. We can even rotate it around. You can go up and down layers. You can do all sorts of things with this. These are our beehives. That's actually pretty cool. But yes, we've got all of our birds in there. And our little, uh, well, I called it a battery farm earlier. It's not really. It's actually quite spacious. I think they'll all agree. But we can zoom quite close in. And you'll see that there's little graphics for the, the dwarves. And it's uh, male and female standout. Some with single braids, some with double braids. I wonder if that's actually tied in to the descriptions. I don't think it is, but it would be kind of cool. But yes, you can... Uh, Zoom in, zoom out, you can expand the field and just generally get an idea of what the fort looks like. So over here we've got uh, the beginnings of Kettenvere being hollowed out. Down there we've got our little indoor farm, outdoor farm, our two dormitories. And our barracks, which doesn't actually serve a purpose yet. But as this is the, uh, the annual sort of Meet the Dwarves episode, I thought I'd probably do this along with that and uh, carry that on with the tradition so every year we'll we'll have a look at how the fort has changed and for that we needed i didn't want to just do it right at the beginning because all you'd see is a is a bunch of grass and seven dwarves but uh, now there's a little bit here so there's enough to look at i feel so yes with that we have now thoroughly met the dwarves we probably know more about them than we really wanted to but we've also seen what kenvir looks like if it actually had a the dwarf forges had some sort of graphical engine maybe one day i live in hope i'm sure a lot of other people do too but for now and as always until next we meet do take care